Hi, welcome to Forever Yoga. I'm Susan Foxley, a registered yoga instructor and a certified life coach. I've been teaching yoga for over two decades, and today I want to share the gift of yoga at a pace that's right for you. It's all about life, body, and balance. Let's get started. Today we have Karen and Kim, and we're doing a chair episode today. So you guys at home, go grab your chairs, please, your dining room chair, any kind of chair, preferably uh, a chair where the knees line up with your hips. So if your hips are above your knees, not so good. But try to find a chair where the hips and knees are even. And just get comfortable, please. Sit comfortably, sit up straight. Have your feet hip distance apart, please. And just close your eyes. Close your eyes from top to bottom. And yoga means yoking or union. So let's connect with ourselves. It means connection, basically. So let's connect with our breath and let's just shut out the rest of the world, the list of things you need to do, returning emails, whatever you need to do, grocery shopping, cooking, cleaning, working, let it all go. Give yourself this 20, 25 minutes for you. And just sit down, ground your sitting bones as you plant your right foot and your left foot onto the earth and go ahead and lift the heart lift the crown of the head and take a big inhale please and let all the air out take another big inhale please and let all the air out take another big inhale and let all the air out Beautiful. And then from here, let's extend the arms out, please. Reach the right arm away from the left arm and the left arm away from the right arm and stretch through the collarbones as you lift the sternum. Spread the fingers wide. This really helps with any kind of arthritis in the shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers. Lift your heart so your spine is nice and tall. And let's interlace the fingertips on top of the head first and rest your hands on top of the head, the crown of the head. Bring the elbows slightly back and then reach your arms up to the heavens, please. Reach them up, lift the back ribs, the side ribs. And then go ahead and straighten your right leg up and bring those toes towards your face. That's gonna help your knees. Lift your back ribs and your side ribs. Try to straighten your elbows as much as you can. And check in with your breath. Go ahead and relax that right leg down and bring the left leg up, please. Spread those toes. Lift the back ribs. Lift the side ribs. Soften the floating ribs. And then go ahead and release the leg and the arms down bringing your hands open onto your thighs. Close your eyes and check in. And just notice your ribs. Breathe into the side ribs. Don't worry about belly breathing or chest breathing. What I'd like you to focus on is expanding the side ribs with every inhale and every exhale. And notice, please, whether you're breathing more through the right nostril or the left nostril. Let's take another big inhale. Hold. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Let it all go. Really nice. Before we do some more poses, let's go ahead and stand up. And we're just going to warm up our body. We're going to flip the chairs around so you guys can see. We're going to have our hands on the edge of the chair, and we're going to bring our feet hip distance apart. Spread the toes and lift your heart, please, away from your pelvis. Nice, Kim. Nice, Karen. Perfect. So just make sure your ankles are right underneath your hips. L keep the heart nice and lifted so you're doing traction to the spine. So the heart is really moving away from your pelvis as you lift those toes and suck up those kneecaps, please. And go ahead and lift your right leg up, please, and your baby toe is rolling towards the floor. And lift your heart as you reach your right heel back, please. 
and go ahead and breathe. And Kim, look forward, please stretch your heart away from your right heel and your right heel away from your heart so you're getting a beautiful elongation in the body. Beautiful, Karen, see if you can lift that right leg up a little bit higher. Spread those toes. Beautiful work. Let's go ahead and bring that right leg down, please. Feet hip distance apart. And let's bring the left leg up, please. And the baby toes rolling towards the floor so the thigh can internally rotate. And lift the heart forward. We want to get space in that beautiful spine of ours. We want to get space between each individual vertebrae. And this pose is terrific for any kind of lower back pain. It really helps alleviate any kind of lower back pain by creating beautiful space. Lift the heart and reach that left heel back. Beautiful work. Bring that foot back down, please. And now we're going to incorporate the arms. This is a really nice balancing pose for the mind and the body. Reach your right leg back again, just like we did earlier. And then lift your left arm forward and stretch your left arm away from your right heel and your right heel away from your left arm, trying to get as much elongation as you can. Spread the fingers, spread the toes, and always remember to breathe. Send breath to every cell, ligament, joint. Flood your body with beautiful prana, with beautiful oxygen. Come on down. Nice work. Let's try the other side, please. Bring your left leg up, please. Reach that left leg back and reach your right arm forward. And stretch. Get as much space in your body as you can. Reach your right arm forward and reach your left leg back. Beautiful work, Karen. Beautiful work, Kim. Come on down and pause. We're going to do that again. Pause for just a second. Beautiful. The feet are beautifully hip distance apart. Gorgeous. Your hands are grounded on the edge of the chair. Lovely. Beautiful long spine for Karen and Kim. And long spine for you guys. Lift your heart away from your pelvis. Gorgeous. Let's lift the right leg up again, please. Remember the baby toe is rolling in beautiful and left arm up. Yeah, that's fine, Kim. Left arm up. And go ahead and reach both of them away from each other. And remember to breathe. Gorgeous. Straightening that back leg really nice and go ahead and come down and let's do the other side and flood your body with your breath long left leg and right arm nice Karen flood your body with your breath gorgeous nice work beautiful and then come back and just pause let's just go ahead and look up and as you do that let's spread those toes so you have a beautiful foundation Lift the heart. Gorgeous. Let's bring the hands to the hips. And let's go ahead and go into Utkatasana. So let's, since our feet are hip distance apart, this is so good for your lower back. Let's bend the knees just slightly and reach the arms up to the sky. Reach the arms up to the sky. Lift the back ribs away from your lower waist. Beautiful. Spread the fingers. Look up to the sky. This is good for the thoracic spine. Reach up, and then from here, straighten your knees. Please bring your hands to your heart. This is warming up the body just a little bit. And then go ahead and bring your hands to your waist again, please. Bend your knees. And then from here, reach your arms up to the sky. Spread your fingers. Lift those back ribs. Lift those side ribs. Stay there. Look up to the sky. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Nice work. Bend a little deeper, Karen. Beautiful. And then hands at your heart. S straighten your legs. And then let's go ahead and flip the chairs over this way so we can go ahead and we're going to do some really terrific, fun chair exercises. This is fabulous to do at your office anytime. It's wonderful to do some, some um, warm-up poses on a chair. So let's go ahead and extend the arms out again. Reach out with your arms. Interlace your fingertips on top of your head and reach your arms up to the sky. Reach up, look up, stretch up, and breathe. Beautiful, Karen. Nice, Kim. Reach up so you get beautiful space in your spine. 
and then let's go ahead and touch the floor again. Let it all go, drop your head down, release any tension in your neck, let it all go. A beautiful forward bend to calm the mind. Returning to your inhales and your exhales. Slowly come back up. Let's go ahead and bring the feet hip distance apart. And let's take the right hand on the crown of the head and we're gently gonna bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Lift your heart and drop your ear. Lift your heart and drop your ear. Gently just relax that left shoulder away from your ear and breathe. Go ahead and release that right hand, please. Bring your left hand on the top of your head and gently bring your left ear down to your left shoulder. Breathing, we carry a lot of tension in our necks. So go ahead and breathe. This also releases the shoulders. Lift the heart and drop the ear. Lift the heart and drop the ear. Beautiful, and gently bring your hands back to your thighs. Lift your heart. And here, let's shrug the shoulders back. Lift your shoulders by your ears and roll back three times. One, lift big circles, two, and big circles back again, and three. Nice work, gorgeous, really nice work. Let's widen the feet out and widen the feet really wide and just touch your hands towards the floor. This releases any, this is like doing um, happy baby on the chair. You can even grab some rungs underneath the chair if you wish and widen your feet out even more and you can let go of your head. If there's any tension in your neck, let that go. You can even shake a li little bit with a yes and a no with your head. And then slowly come on up and then bring your feet back together. And we're gonna do some really fun poses. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do warrior one and warrior two on the chair. And I have one client that suffers from ALS and we do a lot of stuff on the chair. So we're gonna bring our knees over to the right. And from here, just take your right hand on the, on the back of the chair and lift your heart. Lift your heart. Beautiful. And you want your thighs to be on the chair because we're going to move the left leg behind us. So you really want your thighs on the chair. From here, look straight ahead. And then sweep your left leg behind you and come onto your back toes. So actually, your heel is lifted. Nice, Karen. And then from here, let's go ahead and square the hips. Let's, as you grab the back of the chair, let's bring the left arm forward. Reach it forward and then reach it up to the sky. Reach it way up to the sky. And we're gonna do just a little baby back bend. Look up to the sky and do a little back bend here and breathe. Stay there and breathe. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Nice work and slowly Sweep that arm forward and bring that hand onto your left hip. And then here we're gonna ground that left foot, please. And we're gonna go ahead and come into warrior two. Keeping that right thigh onto the, onto the chair, reach your arms away from each other. And the drishti is at your right fingertips. So the drishti is a gaze. So look at your right fingertips, please, and stay there. Beautiful work. Grounding that back foot. Gorgeous, Karen. Spread those fingers wide. Engage your belly muscles. Beautiful. Stay there and breathe. Gorgeous. Really nice. Lifting the heart away from your pubic bone. Nice. And then we're going to do a reverse warrior. So gently drop that left hand down your back leg and open up through the side body. Reach that arm up and over, Karen. Beautiful, sweep up, and then gently bring that elbow right onto your bent knee, and reach your left arm up and over, and sweep up. Nice, and then reach that arm over, and stay there, gorgeous. Beautiful. And Kim, if we can bring that arm even, sweep it a little more, perfect. Breathe into the shoulders. 
Kim's had some shoulder surgeries. So at home, honor yourself. Always honor yourself if you have stuff going on with you. If there's any pain, please come out of it. And then from here, gently bring that hand back down to your hip. And we're going to sweep both legs back over to the right. And from here, sit up straight, please. Pause here. Engage your belly muscles. Find Uddiyana Bandha. Uddiyana Bandha is when you bring your belly button slightly into your, towards your spine, waking up the abdominal muscles. Go ahead and grab the back of the chair, please, with both hands. And this is going to squeeze out the liver, the kidneys, and the spleen. Look back over your right shoulder. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Lift the heart, please, away from your pelvis. Grounding your right foot and your left foot. Let's take a big inhale and a big exhale to twist a little deeper. Beautiful. And then slowly come out of that, and we're going to come back to center, bringing the feet straight ahead. Really nice work. And then let's just, let's just touch our toes. Come on down, and let's do a little bit of a forward bend. This is good for the digestive system. This is really good for the parasympathetic nervous system, just calming down the mind. Relax your forehead. Relax your cheeks and your jaw. Give back all your worries, your fears, anxieties, and stresses. Just give them back to the earth. Let it all go. Let it drain out of your hands and feet back to the earth. Clearing and cleansing your body, your mind, your soul with these beautiful yoga poses. Slowly come back up. And let's do the other side, bringing the knees over to the left. Really nice work, Kim and Karen. Really nice. And from here, let's go ahead. First, we're not, we're not going to twist yet. We're just going to ground our feet. Grab the back of the chair first. Lift the chest. Make sure your thighs, you might want to back up your buttocks so that the thighs are right on top of the chair. And then from here, we're going to bring the right leg back behind us and be on the back toes. Nice. Beautiful, Kim. That looks wonderful. Nice, Karen. And then sweep the right hand up to the sky. Reach up first. Make sure that this pubic bone, perfect. Stay there and just look up and breathe. Gorgeous. Lift up. Beautiful, Karen. Gorgeous. Lift the back ribs. Lift the fingertips up to the heavens. Get as much length as you can. We're going for space. Gorgeous. And then from here, take your right hand onto your hip, please. And we're going to go right into warrior two. And how we do that is ground the back heel. Beautiful. Just ground the back heel onto the side. Nice. And then from here, we're going to open up the fingers. We'll open them wide. Gorgeous. This helps with the lungs and with breathing. Spread through those fingertips. Gorgeous. Long inhalation and long exhalations, breathing. And then we're going to go into reverse warrior. Bring that hand down the back leg and open up through the side body. Reach that left hand up to the heavens. Look up to the heavens and breathe. Gorgeous. Bring the left elbow onto the bent knee, please. Sweep your right hand up and over and stretch from the back foot all the way. Gorgeous, Kim. Nice, Karen. Stretch that right arm over your right ear. Nice. And then from here, go ahead and bring your hands back, back to your hips and swing that back leg to meet the left, left leg. Go back to, back to the left side. Grab the back of the chair. Take a big inhale, please, and a big exhale. Nice work. Big inhale and big exhale. Twisting on the exhale, lifting the heart. Lifting the crown of the head. Gorgeous. The twisting is going to prevent any kind of osteoporosis in the upper back. This also is squeezing out the liver, the kidneys, and the spleen. Beautiful work. And then from here, we'll come back to center. Fingertips. Palms and fingertips on top of the thighs. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale. Hold. A big exhale. And then your eyes, 12 o'clock, please. 
open up your eyes at 12 o'clock. Your eyes at 3 o'clock, please. Your eyes at 6 o'clock. As we age, our eyes get, our eye muscles get weak. Eyes at 9 o'clock. Eyes at 12 o'clock. And close. Eyes at 12 o'clock, please. Eyes at 9 o'clock. Eyes at 6 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 12 o'clock. And close. Nice. This is one of my favorite poses to do now. It's fabulous. Anyone at home, you should be doing this every day. Let's bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Now, make sure the ankle is right off the left thigh and the foot is flexed. And we're going to just take our hand, our right hand gently onto the knee and push it safely away from our face and lift our hearts. Push the knee away from your face and you're going to feel that in your right hip. And this is so important for us because we sit in chairs so much, our, tight, our hips get so tight. And then from here, let's try to lean forward with our, our spine straight. Lean forward as much as you can. Now, some of us may just stay here. This might be plenty for, this is enough for a lot of us. For those that are very flexible, you can slide your hands down and touch the floor. And just breathe here. Make sure that you're keeping yourself, your body safe. Breathing into that right hip, please. Nice work. This may be enough just to stay here and just pushing the knee away from your face. Nice work, Karen. Nice work, Kim. And then let's switch legs, please. Bring your right foot down and bring your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Make sure it's flexed and make sure the ankle's just right off the thigh. Let's push the knee away from our face. And this might just be enough. I feel an intense stretch here, which will prevent osteoarthritis in the hips, keeping the hips nice and flexible. And it'll really help with your lower back. Lift the heart. Beautiful. And then with the spine straight, lengthen forward, please. Nice work. Breathe into that hip, please. Beautiful breath. And if you feel comfortable here, let's go ahead and drop the hands down to touch the floor. If that's safe. If not, feel free to just stay here. This is fine. But when you push your knee down, I like lifting the heart so you have a beautiful tall spine too, so you're doing traction. Beautiful. And then go ahead and release. And then widen your feet. I have many of my clients doing that at home before and after dinner at the dinner table. And then we're going to widen the feet and we're going to go back to happy baby on the chair. And just go ahead and drop down, please. And relax. Let go. Really let the head dangle like a ripe fruit about to fall off a tree. Breathe. Do a little bit of a yes and a no with your head. Relaxing and letting all tension go. And gently come back up. Beautiful work. Really nice. Bring your knees together, please. From here, we're going to take the chairs and we're going to go and rest on the chairs to wake up the abdominal muscles. So we're going to go ahead and bring the chairs and we're going to go ahead and rest with our legs on, on, on top of the chair. So from here, we're going to go ahead and place the legs on, come down onto your buttocks and rest your legs on top of the chair, please, in a resting pose. Um, so just perfect. Bring your legs, have a seat here facing the chair, and then we'll just bring the buttocks on top of the chair. Perfect. Um, and have your buttocks over here, so you, perfect. And scoot in. Perfect. And walk in even closer so your knees are right on the edge of the chair. So, perfect. We'll bring the chair this way, and then just let me move this stuff so you have some space. And rest on your back, please. Beautiful. And then from here, take your hands behind your head. And what I'd like you to do is take a big inhale, please, and a big exhale, and come all the way up. Come up. It's an abdominal. And hold. One. Hold two. Three. Four. And five. And come on down, please. Beautiful. And then from here, you're going to bring your right leg up to the sky. Nice. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Come all the way up with your head. 
not your buttocks, just your head. Cut, inhale, and perfect. Hold one. Two, that'll wake up the abdominals. This is so good for circulation in the legs. So good for circulation in the legs. Come on down, and we're just going to switch legs. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Come on up. This is really good for your lower back. Hold. Beautiful. And then just gently come on down. And we're just going to switch legs. Bring your left leg up, please. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Come up. Wake up the abdominal muscles. Beautiful, Karen. Beautiful, Kim. Gorgeous. Really nice. And come on down, please. And other side. And really bring the shoulder blades off the ground if you can to get your abdominals working. Gorgeous. And then relax your legs down. And we're going to do one without legs. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Come on up and hold. One, two, relax your shoulders if you can. Three, work your abdominals. Four, flex your feet if you can. And five, and come on down. And we're going to do Shavasana on the chair. Beautiful work. Rest your arms by your sides. Close your eyes. And at home, if you have anything to cover your eyes, I love Shavasana at home. Putting like a towel over my eyes so I can really drop down. And just putting your legs on the chair really helps release lower back pain. So if you have lower back pain, strengthening the abdominals is incredible. So anytime you can do this at home, you can put your legs on your bed. You can put your legs on the dining room table or the ca or chair or couch and do the abdominal muscle strengtheners as often as you can. And if you strengthen the abdominals, it'll really help your lower back. So go ahead and palms open to the sky, symbolic of all the blessings the universe has in store for you. Relaxing your eyelids from top to bottom. Beautiful. Release the lower jaw from the upper jaw, please. Soften your shoulders, your upper arms, and your forearms. And feel how delicious it is to have the, the floor support your back. And just a beautiful mantra is, the universe has my back. I love that mantra. The universe has my back. Everything is working for my highest good. Relaxing your buttocks, your thighs, your shins, your calves, your feet and toes. And let the rest of the world fall away and give yourself this delicious moment for you. To drop into you. And let go and stay there as long as you can. Beautiful work, everyone at home and Kim and Karen. And I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on Forever Yoga. I'm Susan Foxley. If you have any questions about yoga, life coaching, or my workshops or today's show, please just go to SusanFoxley.com. And remember, always, always, always go where the love is. Namaste.